Okay, this is going to be the official unbox video and a brief walkthrough of the AP80. Um, so if you watched the previous video, this is going to be repeating itself a little bit, but just for keep it legit. I'll tell you one thing, getting this cover off is challenging. Okay, take it off and there you got the inside. Now let me take this out first. Got a trap door type with the other stuff on the side. You've got a micro B to USB C connector, so you can connect this to another device that has micro B. It's kind of going to become like a legacy, but a lot of people, like myself, have micro B connections and C, so you can connect this. This is basically your interconnect. This is your this is a USB-C, standard USB, so this would be your charging cable and your data transfer to drag and drop stuff onto the device. You have your um, inspection card. You have uh, extra cover. It comes with covers on it. I took it off already because I want to take a look at the screen. And you also have, uh, I guess this would be the warranty card. This is a basic reviewer sample, so I assume yours would have a date and a number on it. This is this does not. And there's your box. Let me go ahead and put this back on here. And go ahead and star the show. Is this. Now, let me go ahead and put this up here. I have a better background. This would be the side view. This is the hardware controls, play, pause, next track, previous track. You've got a scroll wheel on the bottom. You've got the headphone out. This could be switched to line out type C. On this side, you've got the micro SD single slot. And on the top, you've got nothing. And on the back and the front. Now, the way to turn this on is to push this button right here and hold it. Now in the advertisement look like it says high D's right here. It doesn't say it on this unit, but this is a this is a review sample. Okay. Let's see if I can get this in there well. Okay. You got player, FM radio, uh step. You can use this for like when you walk around I guess and then system settings. You can slide over one more and it'll give you uh, about. This has got the latest firmware that I downloaded. So this is good to go as far as their latest, what, they, what they're doing. Go into system settings. You can select your language, music, database, update, brightness, 50%. Let me go ahead and... Mm, let me turn that down a little bit. Okay, maybe that, there we go. That looks a little bit better on the camera. Um, color theme. Uh, I like the gold one. Can I, can I go ahead and select that? Okay, got to turn it on and select gold, and then OK. And now I'm in the gold version. I actually like this one better myself. Go back into system settings. Brightness, color, theme, font size. I got it selected for middle. Slide it up. Backlight time, 30 seconds. Let me go ahead and stay on just because I'm doing a video. Um, USB mode. Let me go ahead and hit that. USB, DAC, or dock. Button operation when... Can't can't read that. I guess a firmware update is going to take care of that. I guess button operation when I guess this is for locking the button so they don't activate when they're in your pants or whatever. Time setting, adjust date, clock display. Okay. Idle timer, five minutes. Sleep timer off. Okay, I could set that for whatever I want. Battery percentage display. I've got it up here. I turn that off. It doesn't. Yeah, I think I'd like to know what the battery timer display is. Um, standby. I guess I'll turn that off. Inline remote screensaver settings. 
I've got off album cover, dynamic cover. Um, I'll just, just keep it with dynamic cover. I'll work on that later. Restore factory settings, firmware update. Mm, there was some more in here, actually. Backlight time, color theme, brightness, system settings. Okay. Go into the player. And that looks very sharp. Um, deck. Select this. This would be my line out. I'll cancel that. This is the same as the the Hibby in that it's basically like three swipes. Okay, here we go. This is separate. Play mode. Resume play from. Gapless playback. Max volume. Fixed power on volume memory. Crossfade off. Gain on. Replay gain. None by track by album. I got mine by track. I like that it's got replay gain. Anti-alias filter. These are basically linear phase fast roll off, linear phase slow roll off, minimum phase fast roll off, minimum phase slow roll off, appetizing fast roll off, appetizing slow roll off, correctness minimum phase, brick wall. It's got pretty much, I guess everything that's available in this DAC is on this device. Playthrough folders on, playthrough albums on. Here we go. So that was what I was actually looking for. It's in the player section. So, so there's two different setting areas. Of course, it's got the Magic Sound 8-Ball. I'm not using that. Get me out. Um, EQ, Bluetooth, play settings, exit. So you've got this screen. You've got your albums, files. Go back. Albums. Artist, genres, go back into artists. The load time is actually not that bad. I would say that this would be similar to the R3. Maybe a little slower, but not really, not really bad. If, as you can see, this actually looks better than it did last night. So that's the point of doing it in the daytime. And also turning down the brightness a little bit. So I'm on Big Boy right now, swipe over, then I, I go into that track touch here and I've got you know I had to play this EQ view album go ahead and do that kill Jill big boy featuring killer Mike okay I'll get, get out of there and there we are now if I turn this off it should go into that screen server mode which is what this is right here so this will give me the name of the song and give me the clock on the top So you look at that now, that, that screen actually doesn't look bad. The, I, I gave it a handicap, I think, a little bit there by doing it at night. That's never really a good idea. So this would probably be a lot better. In fact, I know it is. Um, I use the EX-1000s right here for listening to this. I've got it on a Mini XLR running into single end. Go ahead and put that in there. Now I can do the volume like this, or I can do it with my finger. Once I get it going, I believe. Start increasing it. This is actually, um, it sounds more powerful than the R3 in high gain, which is very strange. The, the EX-1000s are a funny set, but I know them really well. These have plenty of power for this set. Let me go ahead and push play. You can hear that through the camera. That's very loud. I wouldn't listen that loud. That's way too loud. So you see that was 55. I don't know if you can see that or not. Now, doing this, it's not going to activate the volume, but if I go into volume... I can go ahead and do it with my fingers. 
Um, this is actually really cool. I, I, I like the sound of it. It doesn't have any clear coloration. People that talk about daps and their sounds, it's very rare that daps really have any influence. The, the, the Fio X5 III would be something that would be smooth. Um, I think everybody agrees that. Something like the Opus Number no. Three, I thought had funny treble. I know two reviewers on YouTube that thought the same thing. I don't can't quite say what it is. It shouldn't be, but something in the treble sounded different than most of the other daps I've heard. Um, it's unusual for a dap to have an effect. It is not unusual for the amplification stage to have an effect, which is why stuff like the X7 second gen and the DX200 and DX150. Any reviewer or any owner will tell you that depending on the amp that is attached to it, what kind of sound you're going to get. And that is itself proof that the amplification stage and the filters used in it is going to have more effect on the sound that you're hearing than a simple DAP with a DAC and the filters that are not really doing anything to it until you were to change the filters which a removable amp stage would allow you to do. There's amp chips, and there's also filters inside there. And when you switch those, you change the sound. Amp number one for the Ibaso, or amp number four or eight. They have different sounds. Everybody is in agreement with that. There is no debate there. So this is typical in the sense that it doesn't really have uh, a sound. It plays the music. Uh, it sounds a little bit dynamic. Uh, if that makes sense. It doesn't sound smooth. If you're worried about something that has a kind of smoothness and it might sound not good with warm IEMs, um, I listened to this with the XB EX, XB 890 EX by Sony and uh, I got an ambience by me that's nice. And now the dog comes. That's awesome. If you got something that's kind of smooth, you don't want something that's with a smooth dap. Um, I thought the Opus number two, and I still think, is, is actually slightly smooth. Um, and it comes out with smooth gear. This doesn't suffer that. This is actually very, I would say, dynamic. I would, I, I want to say neutral, but not because that implies, like nothing. This this sounds somewhat dynamic, and I can't quite put my finger on where it sounds like it's, getting that sense from, um, but it would not be related so much to the, DAC. It, it's, it's how they put the power stage on this thing. So this is the video for the item. This is what you get. You don't get the EX-1000, so let me go ahead and get that out of there. You get your card. You get this cable. You get your inspection. And you get this cable. And that is the AP-80 by hi -Dees, And it, it's going to be hitting the market. I, I really do like the sound, yeah. I, I genuinely like this. It's... God, I'll have to do a comparison. Just right, just going off a of sound, I like this better than the R3. I don't know. This has the same DAC as the M0 by Shanling, which I'm not a fan of the company. Everybody knows that. But that must sound good. I've never heard it. But it must sound good because this sounds good, and it's using the same DAC. I don't know about this, the amplification stage, but this has a good sound to it. And it powers my EX-1000s easily in high gain. Um... 40% volume, maybe, out of 100. Fine, no problem. So, for IEMs, this would be no problem. So, this is it. That's 13 minutes coming on 14. The screen quality is better than it looked in the previous video. I'm not going to delete that, but I regret I put it up, but eh, whatever. What else do we got? Let's, let's go out with a good one. Mm. Pimp C. Come on, man. There we go. Pimp C. UGK. For if you're from Texas or the South, you know who this is. Rest in peace, Pimp C. Um, the AP80. It sounds good, and it actually looks good. Once you adjust the brightness on the screen a little bit. It's a teeny tiny little piece of badass. I like it. Good stuff. Look for it on Kickstarter.